Praise Lord! Today, I would like to share a few thoughts on the importance of forgiveness. Psalms chapter 103 verses 12 says, As far as east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. What does David mean by the phrase, as far as east is from the west? We all know that east and west never meet. No matter how far you travel east, you will never reach a point where your next step must be westward. Similarly, God has removed our sins far away from us. He didn't remove it a doorstep away or a mile away. He removed it as far as east is from the west. Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 and 15 says, If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. Forgiveness is something that we all want to receive, but we hesitate to give. But Jesus makes it clear by saying that you cannot have forgiveness if you won't give it. Forgiveness is a key attribute to Christian faith. There are many people in the Bible who can be admired for their forgiving nature. For example, Joseph who forgave his brothers, or Esau who forgave Jacob for taking his birthright, or David for forgiving Saul for, for trying to kill him, or importantly, Jesus who forgave those who killed him. Many of us say that the person who hurt us don't deserve forgiveness. But then imagine Christ on that cross. People humiliated him, mocked at him, laughed at him, cheered at him, but he still chose to forgive them and love them even when they didn't deserve it. If Jesus can forgive those who killed him, then what is stopping you from forgiving your brother or sister? Forgiving isn't easy. It takes a lot of time, but it is something that will set you completely free. For Psalms 103 verses 10 says, He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. God forgives all his children, no matter what they have done in the past or what they're doing now or what they will do in the future. God hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. The price of God's forgiveness is high, but he paid that price himself. By Christ's loving act of grace and kindness, we believers are eternally freed from the penalty and guilt of sin. I would like to conclude by sharing a quote. Forgiving other people who have wronged us or hurt us or embarrassed us is not easy. In fact, it may seem impossible. But that is what God did for us and what he asks us to do for others. So let's all learn to forgive those who hurt us and love just like how Christ did. Amen. God bless you all.